is at a corner. Who cold call the cops? It's a robbery of progress. Many yak on the tracks and the normal warfare. Far too key. There's a beat in our corvette. Our pursuit has got you wondering what is next. Welcome back to Thirsty Thursdays. This is another, week 11 now. Yeah, another beauty day again today. It is, yeah. Another beauty day in the prairie. Um, so, you missed out, or did you see it on, it was just previous a few days ago on Monday, there's that solar eclipse. Oh yeah, yeah, the eclipse. Yeah. All I keep getting is bad pictures from my buddies. With <laughs> everything but the moon passing in front of the sun. <laughs> so if you're watching this, you've obviously didn't look at the sun too long. Yeah. yeah. So, getting to know the Battle Axe family a little better, we do have a guest here today with us from yep. the Backsquare MB family, but before we get to him... The Triple T. Hashtag Triple T. Thursday taste test, and we'll do this one. Do you remember this? <laughs> or no. I just I found it. I found it in the beer fridge, and <laughs> I thought we'd try it out. The story behind this, as Richard chuckled, was that we were in Toronto, this was October of 2014. Yeah. It was like, it's coming up <laughs> three years. And so this has been sitting in the fridge ever since, and we bought it there. I think we bought it for like a couple bucks, it was pretty cheap, but yeah. I remember that uh, it was all the hype with everything about it, because it's like a knockoff. We knock like Toronto K-Town, Koreatown. Yeah. Mum and my aunt took me to, it wasn't a karaoke bar, it was just a restaurant to eat at. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I had a few of them. They get the job done. And They're not super strong. The, you them. know, the big thing is, it's kind of like a knockoff. I, was, I forgot what it tastes It's like. a knockoff of that sake. Oh, the cat broke. Yeah. Not cold. Made <laughs> <laughs> Typical Asian proto Make a hell of a good phone call. Okay, so we'll leave the bottle there and we'll do a quick Thursday taste test. Cheers to a nice day. Oh! That is pretty potent. That tastes like water. Oh, so I, think, yeah, I, think, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember being like that. I didn't feel, I didn't taste anything. That's... <laughs> You're just De Niro over there. I'm not, a I'm not a fan. <laughs> no? I don't know, it just, it tasted pretty watered down. Maybe it was expired it's or something. Warm. It's warm going down. I don't even know what you compare that to. Uh, it's not a, like a vodka, like tap like water. Vodka or white or tap water. It's not that easy drinking. Come on. I didn't notice anything different about like it. Just tasted like a. But still, it's a good drink. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay. So with that said, we have a guest. Like we, we said, have a guest coming from Battle Axe and me. And we'll introduce him. It's Logan Roy. Logan Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we have a fake studio audience that we put the track over. Yeah, he dumps the track. You know? <laughs> and the reason why I wasn't part of that is because I don't drink. Yeah. So I have chocolate milk. The next best thing. <laughs> the next best thing. <laughs> that might be even more alcoholic than this. Maybe. What's it even smell like? It doesn't smell like anything. It's yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe there is top water. You just tricked you. Ah. <laughs> no, I, I have no sense of smell, and something gave me a shiver. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it's something with your scent. Or, I don't know. Yeah. Taste yeah. Buds. My spidey senses are tingling. Yeah. So we have Logan here, and we'll first just give us a little background of where you're from and how you got to North Battleford. Well, born and raised in North Battleford, actually. Uh, <laughs> what what uh got your attention to the battle axe thing? Oh, I'm always a big fan of school members and when I found that out, it just 
you know, big fan club, his base school, was street team, or whatever you want to call it. One of the originals. One of the originals, yeah, back when the numbers actually meant something with the movement, uh, 684, so like first 700 out of the original 5,000. And when did they start that? Uh, 2012. In 2012. Yeah. Gold member Josh, he's just like uh, not even 100 numbers ahead of me, so he's wow. like five something. Oh yeah, so yeah Josh has been on yeah. that scene. Oh yeah, yeah he Long jumped time. on that like fat kid on cake. Yeah. <laughs> Josh will be on and the show eventually. Yeah, and I jumped on it like a fat kid on cake too as soon as I got a credit card. So. <laughs> right on. So what's your role with the battle act? Like, do you uh, part of the table now? Yeah, as you have the see table. Blue Patch on the secretary, so I, the guy that sits there and takes all the meetings, minutes, and yeah. And I got sent on my way to Morocco with the boss man in Vancouver, along with uh, show up East Van. Yeah, East, East Van. Van. Inc. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tag them there, East Van. Yeah. There. Funny story about that too. We had a meeting with Rocco back in last September in Saskatoon, and I can't remember what he was talking about, but he was mentioned something about he needs to start like getting people to pay for things as he sends them out. So I jokingly said, before you do that, maybe you should, you should send me one of those hats and he elbows me in the ribs and starts laughing. Sure enough, a month later, Josh hands me this hat, so... <laughs> That's the I, boss, I, and I've been rocking it ever since. It's <laughs> something that just was just a funny joke and I've been thankful every day that it gave it to me. <laughs> yeah. so, it's always a story awesome. to tell with that, right? Yeah. It's a conversation piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was fun. Yeah, yeah for sure. The weekend's coming up, and I heard that you're getting a puppy. What? You're getting a puppy. Oh, puppy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're getting a dog, yeah. Uh, that, yeah. Uh, purebred Chinese pug is more for my wife and the kids than anything, but uh, I know you're a big dog guy. Yeah, yeah. You're a dog. Five-year-old. Tell about your dog, yeah. Yeah, five-year-old pit bull. Uh, my 80-pound lap dog, he loves to cuddle, loves kids, loves... Favorite thing to do is give him face washes. Uh, What's his name? Titan. 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 Uh, Clash. Yeah, he uh, I actually got him the day before my nephew was born. Oh yeah. I well, took him. I took him over to my sister's house to show him. I said jokingly, you know, I figured I better bring him over before you popped. And she's like, ah, oh, due date's not till Monday. There's lots of time. <laughs> An hour after I left, her water broke, and she went to the hospital. <laughs> he was born the next day. So they grew up together. They've been. Growing up together, so that's that's pretty awesome. He loves him. Yeah, that's so. the best kids and and yeah. especially dogs. I'm yeah. not a feline guy, but uh, yeah. yeah, kids and dogs growing up, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. What about music tastes? You did say mm. you're a solo member, a yeah. fan from way back. Anything else in the hip hop realm or the world that you do find yourself listening to a lot of lately? Uh, yeah, and like always. I actually first CD. Not album, but CD that I've ever bought it was actually it's kind of embarrassed to say it was Will Smith Big Willie style. Yeah, <laughs> and Let's keep yeah, it's a start. <laughs> yeah, it's a start. Yeah. And then my uh, older cousin is the one that was like always big in the hip hop, so he introduced me to like, Dre and Eminem and yeah. like the golden and, era. Yeah, <laughs> Tupac, Biggie, and. Yo, you just he, the look, one day he look around on the wall. Yeah, so yeah, just, just yeah getting my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the one day he comes over, we're playing video games in my room, and he brings over school members, monsters in the closet. Oh yeah. So first time ever hearing them, to put that in, I fell in love with that album. That album was great. Yeah, Rob the Viking was a big part of all that back then. Yeah, that really had that sound. That yeah. Yeah. And from there, I went backwards and went and looked for balance and bad dreams, yeah. and then balance heavy, and bad really yeah, good. and then heavy black magic and. I think bad dreams was the one that I first yeah. heard and fell in love with. Yeah, and then I started looking for more hip hop, so you know, yeah. mainly like Canadian hip hop, so like you know, found classified. Yeah, you ever listen to Sweat Shop Union? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, bit, bit. Yeah, of Sweat Shop. They were a little. Uh, Little fl splash in the pond, not real big, yeah. but they had some really good stuff yeah, for yeah, a little yeah. while there. Yeah. Yeah. Part of that, uh, Kiprios is another guy. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I know you're a big part of being on the loop of what shows <laughs> the backstory we guys got planned and I even though I try to be a part of the shows and I'm always trying to get my name on that card or the opening, they don't tell me nothing until I find out just as soon as you guys find out. But I'm, I got a little birdie telling me that you guys have been working on something. There's no way you can give us any kind of hints as to what that might uh, be or when. Or, I'll tell you what, Just I am a tail member, but you guys remember like Colton, Josh, Jody, they all grew up together. Yeah. And then you got uh, Kelly and Brad who who are close knit with these guys too. So I basically find out like shortly prior before you guys do. Yeah. So I, I can't tell I you anything. I grew, I grew up with those guys too. They don't tell yeah. me nothing. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Weird. I'm not I'm close to these guys. Gotta be like, a fall I, I feel, show, right? I feel a fall like show. I'm close to these guys, but I know that I'm not as close yeah. but as that tight group. You so must know I, at least that there's a is there a fall show or are we just there we, might be. We're still doing the skate thing though. Uh yeah. I don't know what's don't going know on that. with that. That kind of goes week by week. Like yeah. We've week. been talking about a skate day for like the last yeah. like four months, so mm -hmm. we have to blow the dust off my skateboard and maybe <laughs> break a shin or something. <laughs> Give that a go but uh, yeah. Take biggest slam. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. No, uh, I'll be wearing a helmet, that's for sure. Yeah, you could get your smell back if you. Maybe if you hit your head twice, you might just get it back. Just yeah. shake it back into yeah. place. Yeah. Like we, like I said before, the weekend's coming, and we do have a meeting, a battle axe meeting. Yes. So. Yeah. And to get to know the battle axe guys in person, we do this a little bit to get to know our backstory and be family a little better. But uh, yeah, we have a meeting coming up this Saturday in Saskatoon. At, at Taylor Street, it's around there. And we yeah, have a Facebook, so I'll link the, yeah. link the uh, Facebook page. And so if mm -hmm. anyone wants to see that. Who uh, knows the name of the park? Well, no, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, by, it's a park by oh, okay. <laughs> the park. That's all it's, I know. They, they, Colton has yeah. the, the address. Yeah, we'll draw the, the pin or whatever. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Link. we'll link it for sure. And, but if anybody in the Saskatoon area that's watching or within the traveling distance, feel free to join the yeah. ride. Yeah, and you guys that are supposed to be calling us for rides. This is your heads up. Yeah, this is another good. reminder to call us for a ride because we'll be yeah. passing too. So anywhere between yeah. Unity Cut Knife to Saskatoon North Battle for all in there. If you haven't got a ride yet, you have no excuse not to come. And as I said prior to that, the weekend again another topic. No, well, the meeting's gonna get cut a little short, I think. I think yes. so, and there's a reason for that. I don't know. Are you guys gonna follow the fight on big big fights in coming in a couple day. days? Oh, I know a few people are into it, so I might. It's definitely something that's gonna be talked about. Apparently, yeah. it's like the you, rent, you rented of, the fight. Yeah, no, 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 no. You I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I don't go somewhere, I'm yeah. probably just gonna watch it. On my Android what, box the next day. What time so. is that thing starting at? You know? In the evening, I would figure maybe six seven. or seven. Seven ish. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll probably be back here. So the fight will be over at 7.05. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, there's pre fights, isn't there? No, it's, it's just the one fight. There's really? No, there's no there's fight card. No? no? Really? At least that's what I've been told. I don't know. Uh, who knows? Regardless, the loser, it still gets like, what, 500 mil or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'd get knocked over 500 mil. <laughs> Like to thank Logan for coming out. Yeah. Secretary of Backsword NB, one of the founding fathers of what we're doing <laughs> out here. And we will bring you more guests from our family to get them know uh, get to know us and them a little better. Well, with that being said, happy Thursday Thursday to you guys. Thanks for joining us once again and the Battle Axe Global. Cheers. We'll see you next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>